Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me, Gomer Q, three of the weekly contest 371 minimum operations to maximize last elements in arrays. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So, this one I thought uh, they did a, uh, uh, an amusing job of disguising uh, the problem with n is equal to a thousand, meaning that, hey, maybe you want to do something n square. And I don't know, maybe there is an n square solution. I, I didn't really think about it that way. For me, it was all, I actually knew pretty, uh, I think I got a little bit confused for, for, by the constraints, but I always thought that there was a linear solution and there is, right? Uh, basically, in a way, because every, basically what this problem is saying is that you want the last number in either numbers one or numbers two, be the maximum number, right? And really, uh, <clears throat> you know, everything is forced, right? Let's say we don't, for the purpose of this, that let's say we don't switch the last number, which we can, and we'll get to in a second. That means that everything is forced, right? That means that if this number is bigger than the last number, you have to switch no matter what, right? Uh, and if switching doesn't help, then it doesn't matter anyway. But, but so that's basically the idea, right? Um, we just, switch when we have to and we have this function uh basically we count the number of swaps for every number except for the last one if one of the conditions hold meaning if one of the numbers on one of the two arrays is bigger than the last element you have to swap you, and then you increase the swap if if um yeah if it's still no good, you already swapped, so it's not going to get any better, no place to go, so I just return infinity, right? Um, so I did it, I do it twice because uh, I do one more swap, let's say I swap the last element. Maybe, you know, sometimes it's, it's more efficient to swap the last element, and I think maybe there's a formula to convert it from here to this, but I was, I didn't want to think about it, so I just swapped the last element and then calculate it again. You can imagine something like, I don't know, right, like, one 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 one, I don't know one thousand or something and uh yeah one thousand and then the se like next one is just one thousand one one thousand one one thousand one uh wait what what oh it doesn't even matter right like hmm. I don't know uh like two oh. Hmm. Maybe I got the numbers wrong, but something like this, right? So you have to swap the last number. I'm, I'm missing a couple of numbers, but you get the idea is that the two things you can do, you can swap all these numbers or you can swap, you know, just the last number. Very basic idea. Uh, and I think this, like I said, there's a formula relating to them, but, uh, and you know, for extra credit at home, you can try to solve it. But during the contest uh, where I'm optimizing for time, this is basically it. This is the idea. And that's all I have. This is going to be linear time. Uh, the way that I did it is linear space because I make copies. In theory, you could just, um, you know, you don't have to do a hot, hot swap. You can just do a lot more if statements and you can do an all of one space. I'll leave it up to you to, to be that careful. So yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. You could watch me solve it live in the contest now. Is it in any order or, okay, any order. So let's go. Hopefully I didn't make a silly typo somewhere, good. Minimum operations to maximize less elements in a way. Swap the same i, okay. Num sub n minus one. Duh, 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 duh. Okay. Hmm. That's funky. So basically, it is. I was going to say it's increasing, but that's not true. Right? It's just two numbers. Minimum number of operations. Okay, well. <clears throat> okay. Um, can we do... Do, 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 do. Can we do binary search? No. Is it greedy? Mm, and it's only a thousand. That's a little bit. 
is a DP. And the only two answers, right, or two possible ways uh, is, and everything is forced, right? It's either, so then why is it, I don't get it. Why is it and only a thousand? Is that a trick, right? <clears throat> well, we still have to minimize. I think that's the thing. Because you could be greedy and but it seems like an annoying problem, even though I don't think it's that hard conceptually. But yeah, so okay. Okay, so here we get we just calc. Uh, okay, we have a calc numbers one, numbers two. Uh, we change everything except for the last number, right? So that means. Uh, okay, for yeah, okay, yeah, we have to make sure that these are copies. Um, okay, All right, so for i in range of n minus one, uh, swaps is equal to zero, right? And then basically, if num sub i is greater than Nums uh, uh, n minus one. Or num sub two of i is greater than nums two n minus one. Then we swap, right? Then um <coughs> nums one do 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 Right, do, 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 do. and then uh, now, but we check again. Right, if this is still true, then we return infinity. Right. Otherwise, we don't return swaps. And then now, um, <clears throat> yeah. So okay. So answer is equal to min of calc of nums one, nums two, and again we. we have to make copies because otherwise I forget. Or, or nums one of n minus one. All right, and then n is equal to min of answer calc nums one nums two plus one for the swap and if ends is infinity then we turn negative one otherwise we turn answer one two I, i'm not confident about this one but i feel like it should be okay okay the one thousand is such a tricky thing yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem, today's contest, this explanation, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to go mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.